Hello, good day, my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Today we just received one big box with very strong metal seal. And uh, this one is from Carblade K970. It is uh, 100S with new version. So we will open it to see how it is. And the letter we will put oil, assemble the decorations, and the test the functions. Okay, let's fill up this big guy. It's got a big oil tank. We can fill up like a 200 minimum liter. This is around 50 minimum liter. So we can put a few more times. As usually, we should fill up a few times because in the system, in the pipe and the cylinder. All the cylinders are empty, the inside is only air. So after running a little bit, we can fill up again. Okay, locked. Okay, a little bit. The battery is from this side. We will put it. As you can see here, got one switch. And the connection is here. Also here have LED lights so you can see how much power left inside. Okay, first turn on the controller, then is connecting the battery. This press all switch, some switch not in original position. Okay, good. Now it's on, connect the battery. Voltage low. Voltage low. So the controller after Voltage just low. coming from factory, the voltage is not enough, better I will recharge for a while. This is the smoking oil, so for this K970. 100S, this one got smoking unit. You see here is the motor, here is the heating unit and got one hose coming smoke to here. So for this smoking oil, we cannot ship by airplane to you, so you have to buy from your local. For this one, two minimum meter should be, two minimum liter should be enough. We can only to soak the, I should have cotton inside to cover the heating wire. Only to soak, the cotton will be enough. Yeah, as we already filled up with smoking oil and the hydraulic oil, so that uh, we already can start this other system to run it to see the function. Here we got two receiver. We see this expert got so many functions, so many plugs here and uh, down here we can see got one two three six channel this is six servo so got six directional valve for the hydraulic oil uh, and uh, this one is the sound system the speaker is on there here we cannot see it as this decoration you see the exhaust pipe gps but it is only a decoration also this one is the air suction filter so we can close oh inside there we also can see this is the ESC for the hydraulic oil pump so under there it is the hydraulic pump later we will see from other side we will close here from the side cover we can see more from here we can open it this one what we can see here is the pressure gauge inside when we start the hydraulic oil pump, the pressure will be around 4 MPa. Okay, so this one we can close. Here, this side, we got the battery chamber. And uh, here, as we said, here is the connection for the battery. And we got one lock switch here. We can switch on from here and uh, switch off. Also down there, we see this light, so we can see around how much power left from the battery. That's very cool. And okay, so from here we got another small cover. If inside we have one ESC there, it is, should be controlling the driving 
uh, the driving motor. Okay, this one we can close. That's a ESC for driving motor. So from the front, come to here, we see the cabin. We got a door we can open. Uh, this one have to turn downside, so to unlock, then it's open. You can see inside the seat, control board, the switches, especially you see the screen. On the screen we can see, you get closer, you can see numbers, what we have there. There is the temperature for the hydraulic oil temperature and the hydraulic oil pressure. Now it's zero because it's uh, switched off. Also we got battery voltage is there, now it's 11.5 so that's what we can see from the screen okay from the front so we can see we got light mirror here is the light, we got mirror, rear mirror also down there light, later we will switch on, you will see and uh, from the bottom we go down, we see the chassis this uh, stainless steel, this track also we got ladders, inside have motor driving, these sprockets we got the road wheels and the rollers, it's all stainless steel. Also we got this platform, stainless steel as you can see, other parts mostly painted, but still we got some parts, we can see the color, silver color for the stainless steel. So come up, we can see from here is the big arm, we got all the pipes from the directional valve here. The pipes come to this side to see, come to this side. Come to this side, here, yeah, you will see from this direction. Yeah, this is the direction of the well for the hydraulic oil. So you, you see we got six channel. Actually this one, all six channel we can use because we got upgraded version of the grab and also have the cutter. This one is controlled by two channel. One is for turning, one is for close and open. So six channel all used. One. Let's continue one for the big arm, one, one channel, this one, small arm, two channel, and uh, for the buckets, three channel, and, uh, and we got this, got two channel here, spare one for upgrade, upgrade. This one later, as you can see, we can use on the grab and the cutter there. Yeah, just now as we can see from here, we already counting five. So we got one channel left. As you can see from here, down there you got one pin. Inside it is one cylinder. The oil pipe comes from here. That's the sixth channel. It's for quick release for changing the bucket to the to the grab and the other bucket and the cutter. Okay, so. We can turn around a little bit to see all the details. Later we will start. Uh, starboard side we also can see a little bit. From the arm we can see the cylinder. Uh, and this not moving parts, a stainless pipe. The steel pipe. Only the joint. You see we got holes. So it's more easier for maintenance. Less risk for broken. And uh, down here we got the ladders and the man come to here. For the maintenance to check, we got doors here. We will open to see from this side. Now we see the heart of this uh, this uh, excavator. You see, this is the hydraulic oil pump. From uh, this is the suction line. Here is the oil tank as we filled up oil from here. So suction goes to pump. Other side is the discharge line. We cannot see. Here we got this pressure release valve. So if uh, no using any, no moving any hydraulic cylinder, so this oil from this valve will go to return line. So protection not to broken the pipe, not to rise too much the pressure. This uh, also can be adjusted, can turn a little to lose the pressure or rise a little bit. As this one is the inlet from the return line. This return line first goes to the cooling, this cooler. Cooler other side, we got a fan. 
now already it's running. The fan blows the air cooling from here. The return line, the oil then come out from cooler. We'll go to this uh, filter. And uh, from the filter, make a run and go out to the oil tank. This filter, as, as you know, when the pump running, we got some friction. We'll have some metal parts. Inside have a magnetic. We'll keep the metal parts uh, suction on the magnetic so not to get any more friction from the system. So it's a protection for the oil system. Okay, that's pretty much for this one. And okay. We get a look from the rear part. We're not seeing the, the rear part yet. We turn it around. Later we will start. Okay. So all the details we already checked. Now we will start the engine. We will run it. Okay. First, the engine sound. Engine start. We make a, also have a horn. Okay. Deep guy coming. So we got light from here. You can see the light. I will switch on. Okay. It's also this side. Also you can see I will turn a little bit. Change the light. Now it's other lights on. Also from the back, we got the light. As we already see the front light and the cabin light here on top, we also got one warning light. We switch it on. Then we can change, have different mood. Slow turning. Fast turning. Red and our color changing. Different flashing. Okay, you see we got many different mood. Okay, I leave it like this, and now we'll sw switch on the smoking unit so you can see the smoke. Now it's off. After switch on, we need to wait a little bit so the wire need to heat up. Yeah. Now you hear the sound. It's coming from this fan motor. So soon the smoke will come. Now it start heating up from here. Okay, you see here the smoke already start coming. Okay. We will start the engine sound. The engine start, we move a little bit. You see it coming more smooth, like a real one. Turn it a little bit. Okay, we cover it.
allowed. As well as you go for the beginning, all the cylinders are not very smooth, you need to run it a little bit. So for the each cylinder and the piston, lubricated with hydraulic oil, will get you more smooth. Many customers are asking why my x at the beginning is moving a little bit like a star. That's because the cylinder is new, the oil is just filled up, need the lubrication to be more smooth. And uh, as for the air black transfer, we cannot fill up with the oil. So inside is empty. The oil is filled up by yourself after you receive. which one you like, this one or this one, and the color is randomly. And for the all, all these other parts are upgrade parts. As you for, for this one, you can, uh, let's say, you can lift up the, the wood bucket, something. This one only the color different. As you see, also this one can turn in. And uh, this one have two cylinder, can adjust the wideness, can be more wide or more narrow can be adjusted. It's all controlled by hydraulic system. This one is used for uh, opening one slot. It's like a, uh, you can flow the water, some water line, opening slot. And this one, you see we got some uh, it's holes on it, so you can lift up by the, the sand, the rocks in the water, so water will flow down. This one is used for the flatting the ground after after you use the bucket as that one, it's not flat. You can use this one. It's like very smooth to make it more flat. Okay, so here we are. First, show you this one. We have to unhook this one. And let go your start. Lift up a little. And uh, be careful, we have to adjust a little bit this angle as you see here is the bar, the pin for holding it. So if you lift too much, after you release this pin, it will drop. Boom. So we better to turn this side a little so this is hooked here. Okay, now we can quickly release, you see from here, the pin, each side got the pin. Now it's locked. Now it's released. So after release, we can take it out. We can change it. For for let's I will lift up to let you see the quick connection well. So from here, let's see from this angle. Come here. From this angle, you see the top. It's uh, inside got the O-ring. So is when we connecting this will be the seal we are closing inside as you can see go inside we are sealed by the o-ring inside okay so now we will connect it first hook up here 
here then because this one got a little bit pressure so uh, this one we need to the pin already come out a little we need to take it back when we push it better you push by little a little by, ha by hand to push a little because this got pressure oil will come out a little so you push press will come less oil like this and then we lock the pin lock you see it the pin now it's locked okay so we can show a little bit about this grab Okay, from this angle to this angle, it's around 270 degrees. That's how much it can turn. Take it out, close it, open, turn in, open it. Very cool function. I got a little bit problem with the controlling, I'm not so fluently a good operator. But, but maybe we can try with this one, next a little time. Very big, so the power is very strong. 
can cut the wires wood plastic very easily okay maybe we try to cut one wire to see okay I will make you see you can put the wire here and close it it's already off already broken as you can see, so don't put your finger here. <laughs> Very dangerous. So not playing for kids. That's why this one is also moving a little bit slow. Because more slow as the speed gear, as you understand, slowly got more power and more torque. Okay, that's pretty much this function. Grab something, remove the control lead, okay. Very cool, powerful one. Okay, I'm gonna put this one back. Grab this one, okay. Sound off. Has already come off. This is pretty much all the functions I got this one. As we say, we just unboxed this one. We got others also there. This was uh, arrived more a little earlier. But this one is new. I just open and connect it. Put oil testing functions. It's good. And uh, also, this is the procedure. New things you received, you will test it. And also for our, our customers, what they buy before we send out, we will test all the functions as well. So how do you like this one? All the upgrades, the parts are here. The functions you see, what you like to share with me, you can come to me and talk to me. Thank you very much. I'm Oliver from Tokyo Hobby. See you.